What's going on everybody? It's your boy, I'm Nomad and I'm back and today I'm kicking it off with some Street Fighter gameplay but first we're gonna look at this new Ultra Street Fighter gameplay trailer you know and, and see what it's about man I mean little crazy hype going on and stuff like that you know another Street Fighter with five new characters oh my gosh I mean yo Street Fighter ain't dead man and um if you've been sleeping on a rock or you just blind or you just deaf and uh no offense to people who have those uh elements uh but evo was this weekend and ooh, 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 ooh. yo i'm saying yo, oh my god evo was crazy we get that in a minute but look at me look yo they made changes they made changes based on feedback from the fans so you as the fans requested that these uh balance changes happen and capcom listen now when y'all start screaming or oh, something's too overpowered or something like that Look, this is what y'all requested. I mean, you could let them do their thing and balance it themselves, but I don't want to hear nothing later on. I mean, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And look at the characters they got. They got Hugo. They got Poison. Relento. Elena. Oh, yo, when I saw the trailer, and then I saw... Yo, yo, I was just done. I was just done. I lost. I lost. I lost it. Uh, I was like, another Street Fighter. I mean, it's an update. But they're bringing it in a separate disc as well, you know? And this is gonna have every character that was released, all the DLC costumes and everything, as you can see right here, you know? So, yo, if you don't, if you're a Street Fighter person, you don't get this, man, yo, yo, go kill yourself. <laughs> nah, ain't that serious. But it, I mean, you should support it, though. I mean, come on. Ultra Street Fighter? I mean, I can't even wait to play. Granted, it's coming out after new consoles come out, so. Ah oh, man, that's gonna be um. I, I don't know how that's gonna work, but we, we'll see though. So you know, in the background here, y'all watching gameplay from me playing on the uh, the PlayStation Network, and as you can see, it's me playing my old classic and true Ryu versus a Ken. You know, just a classic setup and a nice background volcanic realm. You know, but anyway. So first off, I want to give a. Uh, Big shout out to Mr. Wizard for hosting, you know, Evo 2013 and all the fans and all the sponsors and stuff, you know, for, you know, keeping an event like this going, man. I mean, it's the biggest one of, you know, the year. And if I was just like, you know, a little younger, you know, <laughs> and, um, and got on it, got, you know, got into competitive fighting like younger, I probably would have been there myself, but, uh, you know. Maybe another lifetime, right? But anyway, so man, yo, let's start with yo. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom was so crazy, yo. I mean, you got like Justin Wong, you know, he was had to go against Chris G, um, and that set was ridiculous, man. I mean, <sighs> yo, the whole time I was like, yo, Justin Wong about to get body because Chris G, his soul fist, you know, lame fist, laming him out, man. And you know he couldn't get in, man. But I don't know the Wong factor kick in on the last set, and yo he just came straight back in beast mode and yo body Chris, yo. You know what I'm saying? It was nuts. So from then on the Wong factor kicked in all the way up to uh the grand finals where he had to face his other demon, which was Flocker, man. And I tell you, man, he had to come back and reset the brackets from you know he had to win six times to be the champion. He, went, he came all the way to five, but Flocka, and I think, I don't know if it was an input error, or he made an error, or was it just the nerves got to Justin, the Wong factor just finally cooled off and allowed Flocka to win, man. I really was rooting for Justin, but you know, congrats to Flocka as well, so congrats to you dudes for putting on a great, amazing Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom uh, event, man. I mean, you know, just watching it in the stream, I wish, it just make me wish I was, I was going crazy in the house when I... Uh, when I saw all that, you know. <laughs> also, I want to give a, a shout out to Zen, Zen for winning um, Street Fighter 4 with his godlike Gen. And Gen is not even a top tier character, so nobody can ever say he was tier hoarding. Or you can say, oh, you play a top tier character, so you're gonna win. Nah, he just proved that your dedication with a character and you can go all the way. I mean. He said he was gonna play again because there was no other games around. 
So when he started playing again, ooh, you know, a lot. I don't know if a lot of people didn't match up or, or what, but you know, his execution was the best. And you know, I'm a big Daigo fan, and it hurt me to see Daigo lost to Infiltration again. I, 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 I'm, I know, like I said it in Twitter, right, the match was going on that, uh, that Daigo, you know, at this stage of the game, that you got to use a counter pick character now. It's the, the game, the, the gameplay is too high level now to stay in one character. Everybody knows Ryu. Ryu is the basic character. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're the, one of the best Ryu's out there in the world. But I mean, you gotta have a counter pick now, and that's what Infiltration did to PR Barrow. In their set, you know, PR Barrow was bodying his Akuma. He switched to Hakan. You know, now Hakan is not a top tier either. And yo, he just went to work on PR Barrow. PR Barrow was not ready for it. He wasn't ready for it. You know. And so, you know, congrats to all the winners of Evo, you know. Mad hype. Let's keep it going. Fighting game community. We're still in there. You know. Um, yo, even Smash Brothers, yo, was really crazy. I didn't know that it was that kind of high level Smash Brothers. And a lot of people hate on Smash Brothers, but yo, it was just crazy though. We topped that around 130k views on Smash Brothers. And not even a true dedicated fighting game. There's a true following, but you know, definitely not. But anyway though, as you can see, your boy is a part of the network of Yaosh, damn it. <laughs> you know, I got partnered. Look at that. And this dude rage quick. So yeah, man, your boy got partnered, man. I'm part of the Yaosh family now, and that's what I truly wanted. I didn't want to partner with nobody else. So I just sit there and took my time, you know. Uh, and how it came about was um, it was a tweet from Big Snacks. And um, I responded, you know, I said, I'm not partner yet, but one day I want to be. And then next thing you know, yo, he hit me back, yo, and said, yo, let's get the paperwork started. And it went from there. And I've been a big follower and supporter of y'all, you know what I mean? So for me to join a family that I truly want to be and not just be partnered, it's awesome. And then trust me, it's not about the money or the views. It's just about belonging to a family that work together and that um, take care of each other. So I'm screaming it again, Yowsh, damn it! <laughs> you know, so I'm, I'm home. I'm home, man. You know, what more could I ask for? I appreciate it. So next, thanks for giving me the opportunity. You know, I mean, I'll be pumping out more videos, of course, and a lot more Street Fighter, a lot more. It's just a lot more fighting games in general, just a lot more posting in general. You know, like I said, don't care about views. I mean, I'm happy. I'm enjoying my hobby. You know, as you can see, I body this. Uh, Evil Ryu, you know, it's all still PlayStation. I have some computer gameplay as well from Street Fighter. That's just how much I love Street Fighter. But until next time, it's your boy, I'm Nomad, and I'm out. Peace. Southcat, we in this thing. <laughs>